Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Darkest Hour mod for Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Germany. Apologies for the lack of videos this past week. I've been taking a little vacation, which I am still technically on. I've just got back uh, to my house about 10pm, but for Friday and Saturday, I'm going to be unavailable. So there may not be any more content until Monday. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I wanted to get you another part of this, uh, as it's a bit of content for you, as I'm still very short on time. So what we're going to be doing today is hopefully try to knock the UK out of the war, uh, definitely get air superiority around here, and try and plan a naval invasion. Uh, also, Rudolf Hess is dead. So, you know, bummer for him. The ma That madman, he's gone. Uh, so what we're doing at the moment, firstly I'm going to try and push the fellows off down here. We have 20 divisions on their way to finish off uh, the Allies in Greece that seems to have landed and performing a bit of a blockade. I have set up a big garrison, uh, <laughs> pretty much to garrison all of my areas. Ooh, oh, those are the volunteers from Japan, I would presume? Uh, but yeah, so far we just need to capitulate, I believe, the United Kingdom, and then we've won the war. I've only taken 300,000 casualties, and the United Kingdom, 106,000. We, we should be able to knock them out, hopefully, pretty soon. In terms of factories, we've got so many more than them. And hopefully our allies are also going to plan some invasions and, and try and knock the UK out of the war. Uh, what we're going to be doing is just planning as much as we can. Hopefully this attrition will stop because that's a bit of a pain. Uh, but yeah, if you happen to see the series back, of course, let me know in the comments below. And also leave a like on the video as it very much helps out the channel. It's very much appreciated. Uh, so we're at one speed at the moment. What I was doing, I was planning... Okay, so those are my naval bombers, I believe. Uh, which we'll be trying to get rid of in the English Channel. So we'll plot them in there. Okay, so we have air superiority in the English Channel. And I also want air superiority there. Then I can... We'll stick them in there as well. Really want to take control of the English... Oh, no, let's go for Northern France. Okay, make sure we keep control of that. They can definitely strike naval forces in the area. Oh, so it might, might be prudent, actually. Let's start another air wing, because I know I definitely have some more fighters. As I really want to keep control in northern France. Hmm. So that's probably contested. Here. Bad weather. Okay. We need to do something about that. I can't afford to not have air superiority in northern France. What we will also do here... They've got 54 ships there. Okay. I will definitely change our Craig's Marine. Do I have any more ships ready? Let's take a little look. Uh, we have... Ooh. Well, we're getting another Navy at the moment. I will probably take you off patrol. And hopefully I can find you somewhere. I don't know where you've gone. Gosh, diddly darn. This is the problem with uh, Let's Play sometimes. It can be difficult to keep track of where the ships are. Oh. Well, you can go back to port. Which I know would be a problem. But I think we'll probably be okay. So, Rommel, we just need... in We need naval superiority. Then we can try and invade the southern England. What I should also do when I'm able to... Oh, we're doing the Alliance with Spain. Let's also speed this up once again. If there are any naval invasions, we should be able to tackle that. I'm not too fussed about having war with these fellows at the moment. They'll just be dragged into the war. And, okay. So let's see. We will merge these fleets. I'm not going to do convoy raiding, convoy escort. It's search and destroy the English Channel. So let's see what we can achieve here. And that is currently naval superiority, I believe. Oh, they're sending in more ships, but then we have ours. Okay, so the Battle of the English Channel. It looks like we're winning at the moment, at least. No idea what the heck is going on, but I think that's... The outcome is undecided, but it will be decided in less than a day. So, cold on it. Oh, I think we're slowly getting beaten back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to lose that. Okay. Let's just take you off that. Uh, let's 
Go back to Normandy if you can. Okay. Or there. Or there. Please just retreat. I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, well. That is a bit of a problem. Not too much of one. I think I I'm, I'm probably shouldn't be recording it this late at night. 10pm isn't exactly late at night, but, you know. What we're going to do... Ooh. We don't really need to worry about that. Fortification. Might need to worry about that at some point. So we have more divisions being generated. Not sure I need to recruit too many at the moment. So let's just plop that down to two. Plop that down to two. And then we'll plop that down to one. I think apart from that, it's okay. I would really like it if you can withdraw to Normandy. But it seems at the minute I have naval superiority. I really don't know how long that will last, though. I really just want you to get back to base. I really want you to dock. Okay, we're docking. We're docking. Okay, good. Good. Japanese diplomats in Berlin. Ah, here we go. A new partnership is developing between Tokyo and Berlin. Very good. Oh, the Empire of Japan wants to join in. Brilliant. That makes that very nice indeed. Now, well, something that I should have done to start with is actually get some... Divisions. Paratroopers. Should have got some paratroopers early on. That is my bad. Oh, well, we're winning. Oh. I think I'm losing a lot of ships that way, though. So I probably don't want to take too many. So try and get back there if you can. Okay. Okay. Okay, I still think I'm good. So, let's call the Empire of Japan into the war. Japan doesn't want to join. Are you serious, Japan? You're in the Reich. Join. Join the war. Are you in your own war at the moment? I don't think you're even... Yet no, you're good. Oh. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. I can also invite... Oh, Menguko. Yes! Okay, so I think in terms of... We are getting quite powerful here. We just really need to... Oh, who else can join? Okay. Come on in. Yep. Come on in. I think that's it. Unassigned divisions. We are do. I think we're up to date with nuclear research. Yeah. Pretty much up to date there. Let's do experimental rockets. I want to be as up to date on that kind of stuff as I can. Rom always getting close. We just need a... F Republic of China. Yes, come on in. How many divisions do you have? None, but... Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, how many... I wish this would just do it for all of their puppets. That would be very good. Um, well, let's just cancel all of them and get it from the French state instead. There we go. So what has that done to the Axis? Probably increased our... Yeah, look at that. Bam! So they're going to be fighting that war there. How many divisions does Japan have? How many men does that bring in? 148 and 200 ships. Noish. Okay, so what this, this this honestly has turned into more of a um, let's play than I originally intended. It was meant to be just an overview of the mod, but damn, we need to uh, well, I really want to win. <laughs> Have we actually done any kind of damage? Oh, we've done a bit of damage to their navy at least. And we have air superiority here. Okay. Canada, how many divisions do you have? You've only got... Okay, so... We've got a fair amount of planes. Ah. 
Right. So we have this in position. Oh, damn. Okay, well that is... Unfortunate that they're going to be a bit of a pain there. Where are your... Okay, you can still hold. Right, so you're ready to go. Well... 55. Okay, so what we need to do is get naval superiority. So let's go there. And once they're in, we will activate the naval invasion. And hopefully that will be enough to land. If we can land, that would be great. If we can't, that sucks. Um, hopefully they're not defending their ports. Come on. Let's see. Please. Oh, God. Yes, we've done it. Okay. Uh, right. Sorry. Didn't actually think it would go this smoothly, to be honest. Um, right. You've secured it, so everyone can get there. You can just hold Plymouth. Okay, um, what you can do... I'm going to set... Ooh, do -do. A front line for you, yep. And an offensive line of plop. Okay, alliance with Spain. Great. Wow, this is going pretty darn sweet. I could do that. I'm not going to. Uh, Treaty of Rapallo. Africa Corps. Let's do the Africa Corps. Why not? Don't know where their divisions are. Doesn't look like they have any. Looks like they've completely abandoned England. I have no idea where they are. But they have just let me stroll on in. They have no divisions. Holy moly. Oh, here we go. They're coming in. Get back. We need to make sure we have enough. But at the minute, let's keep pushing. Let's seize the initiative while we can. What is going on down here? Looks like we failed in our attack. So let's keep on pushing. Oh, wow. We're actually getting pushed back a little bit. That's fine, really. I'm not really too concerned about the divisions down there. It's the divisions here that we really need to make sure. I'm going to plonk them all over. So we can capitulate them right away. So just as soon as you can, just go and be reckless. Be aggressive. You can do it, boys. This is going better than expected. I'm in England, so that should only be a matter of time before they fall. Oh, yeah. The independent state of Croatia. Not too bothered about them. Uh... <laughs> One division. Okay, yeah, that's not too much of a problem. And we've taken back Athens, so now we'll just finish off the Allies down there. In fact, yeah, just take back the port. That's all we really need to do. Great. Looks like we're almost enveloping the British. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. You can join the garrisons. Okay, so how close are they to capitulation? Ooh. Not overly close, but by the end of the episode, hopefully, hopefully, 
they will be capitulating because they should probably be taking a lot of casualties and they are in terms of navy do we still have we still have naval superiority i am losing a lot of ships i think my craig's marine are oh yeah not doing amazingly but could be doing worse at least we're winning on all the fronts once we take london that's going to be a big blow to the british resistance and birmingham But I don't think they have the divisions to hold me back. Military factories. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Resistance to occupation. That's fine. What I really want to do... I just want to cripple the British. And it appears we're doing pretty well. London is still holding. London is still holding, but it shall fall. Eventually. I think with the 86 divisions in here, we just outnumber them by a vast amount. Yeah, we're pushing. We're almost in Manchester. Leeds, Hull. Kent. Dover is still remaining free. London looks like it's going to be lost in a few days. Okay, well, let's continue to envelop them. It'd be nice to take out those divisions. Cardiff is going to fall. Cardiff has fallen. Yeah, they've got nothing. They can't stop me now. And as soon as they capitulate, that's before the USA enters the war, which is going to be awesome. So they're issuing war bonds, but they really don't have the strength I do love it when a plan comes together. We've only got two and a half thousand... Oh, yeah. Yeesh. Maybe I should get more planes, but we can sort all that out. Oh, man, it is just London that's holding on. Huh. Glasgow, Edinburgh, all about to fall to the right. Oh, Glasgow's got a bit of a garrison. Oh, I know, it, it, Glasgow's fallen. Edinburgh's got a bit of a garrison. I imagine that will fall soon. London is still holding. Well, let's just see if we can change that, shall we? Everyone on London. There we go. 51 days. Okay. Yeah, now I think London is very, very screwed. And then, after that, I think we can consolidate until we have to go up against the Soviet Union and that is going to be a problem because they have a huge amount of divisions auto saving very good very good indeed Dover is the la <laughs> almost the last holdout as soon as London falls oh another six days who dares wins good stuff Ninety-eight, nine percent They are about to be overrun, I think. Less than a day. Damn, come on, let's take Dover 2. Let's take Dover 2. Why not? Oh, London has gone with that. There are... And that is the war done. The fall of London. Another victory for the fatherland. Wow. The United Kingdom has capitulated. We've taken a lot... Oh my gosh, they had a lot of tanks. Right. So, I guess I will take all of Poland, as that was my aim to begin with. And I'm not too fussed about taking Romania at the minute. I'd rather not have that big border. Um, I think I will take France, or at least I'll take Alsace and Lorraine. Boop, boop, boop. In fact, as long as I can keep taking it, I shall indeed. I would also like to not have too much border gore. However, that might happen. Ah, right, I'd already taken too much. There we go. 
My turn again. Fan dabby dozy. Let's focus on all of this stuff. Maybe not. Oh, God. I will try my best not to have border gore. I'll leave Wales for now. Now I'll take Wales. No one's taken Romania. Even though there's a crap ton of oil. Oh, there's oil there. I don't... No, I, I'll, I'll still take Wales. Okay, I guess I'll start working my way into Romania, but it's, it's not like the big be-all and end-all. But no one else seems to be taking it. I think I'm probably the only one with points. Okay. Gobble, gobble. And I think... Oh, gosh. Oh, take that. I'd rather not deal with that border gore. Uh, so I'm just going to end my turn and be done. I presume that... Kingdom of the Netherlands has joined the Allies. What? The war's done now, yes? Yeah, that's done. So the United Kingdom... <laughs> uh, has a truce. Oh, I should have puppeted it, shouldn't I? Damn! Okay, but... The Kingdom of Italy controls Northern England and the Scottish Highlands. Uh, this is now the United Kingdom. And they've lost pretty much... Oh, I see. Okay, I messed that up. My bad. I'm really bad at those peace conferences. Uh, but I think that... You know, that do they have any divisions? They still got a certain amount of divisions. Was not expecting that actually. 125 days. They've got a truce of us until July. So that's not that's not really much of a truce, is it? But we've gained a heck of a lot of military factories. And I think a ton of resources too. Um Oh, a lot of dockyards as well. Well, let's get some more destroyers. And more submarines. And some convoys. Because this has gone very, very well. Still good for that. Tanks, let's get some mediums. Start stockpiling those. Let's get some strategic bombers. And I definitely think we'll need some more fighters. And, of course, some more close air support. Wow, that means we're lacking on a lot of resources, but that's fine. Rubber, you can just give me more, France, can't you? Yes. And tungsten. Okay. Right. Well, I guess now we don't have to worry. Oh, wow. Okay, don't know why it's not letting me delete the orders. I don't know what's going on there. Unless right, these are your orders. Army 5. Right. Oh. Oh, it's Italy. Right, I'm losing the plot. Okay, well that has gone extremely well indeed. I might as well train research marines in case we need them. Um, in terms of... Can I actually go...
Oh, okay. So I will. Oh, yeah, I'll take out Belgium and the Netherlands. I think. Yeah, I'll do that now. Yes, I know. Okay. That's fine. Africa Core, very good. Let's do full gleb. And I'll start gobbling up everything else that I can get. Ah. So where were you? You can just go all against. There we go. Research. Get some never worthers. German pressure towards the Bemelu. Available war goal. Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. No national focus set. Uh We'll we'll do that. I'm not overly sure what that does exactly, but we will declare war. The United Kingdom actually enters the war. Okay. But where I am... <laughs> so the UK... They don't stand a chance. That's, that's the... Well... My offensive line will be here. Um, I, I'm just going to declare war on all of them. And Luxembourg. And this time I'll do the freaking thing right. Okay. Plop. Go, go. Oh, you're not doing anything. You, you go, sorry. That's, that's my bad. Okay. Great. So they've capitulated as predicted. Uh, so it, yeah, I think it is just the United Kingdom will need to capitulate. Yeah, they capitulated. And I imagine Belgium will also capitulate. There we go. And now your front line will be changed to here. And your offensive line will be to Glasgow. Your 54 divisions. I'll put them there in case they're needed, but I very highly doubt they are. And I'll have to sort all this out at some point, but I think for now it's fine. Do-do. Be aggressive. And then I think that they'll probably capitulate. There we go. Okay, this time I'll do it right because that was just painful. Uh, let's I'll take all of that because that's what we aimed to do. Then the United Kingdom, I will... I could take all the states of the United Kingdom. I will just puppet them. And I think that's all they had. British Mexico. Uh, sure, yeah. Um, 
<laughs> I'll satellite British Malaya. Oh no, I can't. I'll pass. I'll pass again. Uh. Can I take all states? I'll pass again. I've taken Aberdeenshire. Don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to these. Take I'll I'll take it all. S sure. There we go. Right, so what has that done? You are now the British Empire, you still somehow have 13 divisions. Not really sure how that's happened. Um, bloop. Oh, wow. Canada joined. Didn't even realise they... Oh, they're a puppet. They're a protectorate from the Kingdom of Italy. Okay. And they've got the scary guy. Right. So I imagine that will go away, the resistance to occupation. Hungarian fighter competition? Sure. What are we lacking? Oh, God. Well, you're just... I will go to someone. Who will actually give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. The French... <laughs> German Malaya. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So, we... We really do have... A huge amount of power. This this has actually probably been my s easiest uh, series so far. I mean, I haven't I haven't gone to war with the Comintern yet. I should probably actually prepare for war against them. Um, this is a bit of border gore, which will probably trigger some people. Can't do much about that now. Oh, I should have had that. Damn. No. Any unassigned divisions can just go to him but in terms of military I currently have 1.8 million men in the field oh. so our offensive line I imagine she'll be down here according to that we do have superiority uh, I think with all of my allies we just have a huge amount of of resources and the fact that I can bring my entire military against the USSR means that I don't think they're going to stand up too well against me uh, especially when I send these fellas in too and then I'll also try and spearhead a little bit with Rommel yeah your offensive line can just be there for now, Rommel. Right, well, I'm going to end the episode here, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Apologies for some of the uh, quirkiness that I get, <laughs> uh, performed through some of this. Uh, I will try and make sure that doesn't happen in the future. Uh, but yeah, I'll sort this out behind screen, and I'll be back with another episode in the next few days. And other content, of course, coming very, very soon. So until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very... Good day!